Seth, I would never bring a five-year-old into a tanning bed. Tanning beds should only be used by responsible adults because you may not know this, Seth, some people over tan. <laughs> but you're not over tan? Oh no, this, this is just a base tan so I don't burn this summer, okay? <laughs> what you see here, this is normal. Oh, geez. That is an SNL skit poking fun at the tanning mom. But as we know, over tanning is no laughing matter. Some are even calling those who tan tanorexic. Of course, this is Skin Cancer Awareness Month as well. And we've got a local makeup expert and a model who has bronzed makeup, who has looks, you know, using great products that are safe for your skin. You're not going to end up like tanning mom. Thank goodness. I'm joined now with Linda Moore, owner of Skin Bar and Henderson, and the lovely model Laura. How are you doing, Linda? Great. Good. Linda, Laura, how are you guys doing? L squared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling bronzed right now. Well, you know, as owner of a skin bar where, of course, you know, we're coming to summer months, this tanning mom controversy, I'm sure, is, you've got lots of opinions on it, I'm sure. Yes. Um, first of all, that picture of her is actually a spray tan. I don't know if people understand that. It's a spray tan with bronzer, so it, she just over-bronzed herself. And... Um, you can't get a healthy glow from the sun. So give us your tips, since you are the owner and expert, skincare person, a makeup expert, what are your best tips about getting a healthy glow so we don't look like Tanny Mom, which is not a good look? Um, the only way to get a healthy glow is from makeup and from bronzers okay. and from self-tanners. So with Laurel, tell us what you're doing to her face to make it look bronze. Um, right now, I'm actually putting on just a tinted moisturizer and um, it's actually called Warm Bronze Tinted Moisturizer. And there's lots of anti-aging properties as well and ingredients and an SPF of 15 as well. Okay. So um, I'm just putting on a light moisturizer with a bronzer and then I'm going to also put a little bit of a uh, topical bronzer Okay, show well. us that. Show us how to bronze the right way, basically. Okay. Well, first of all, um, putting it all over her face and also her neck. You don't want that line of demarcation. No. no. Uh, trust me. That's, I got a caller once who's like, can Rachel blend the face to the neck? Because it yeah. doesn't. I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, I forgot. So you <laughs> always want to bring it down to the neck as well so it looks natural. So you're using basically um, the tinted moisturizer for the entire face and neck. Yes, and it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen and a makeup all in one. That's so it's nice. a Jane Iredell. It's my favorite. Now for arms and legs where we really want to be tan, where people are, you know, tempted to go lay by their pools and just bake or to go into a tanning bed, what would you do to get a great look of being tan for summer without doing harmful, you know? Um, definitely a self tanner because a self tanner will stain your skin. This will wash off after, you know, when she washes her face. Okay. Self-tanners, how they act is they stain their, the skin um, by reaction with the skin cells. Now, have they improved a lot? Because a lot of people worry about self-tanners because they look streaky, they look orange, they don't look natural. Although <laughs> you look great, and you used a self-tanner today, which looks great. I did. I used a self-tanner on my legs because I knew I was wearing shorts. And In then also on my arms, yes, because this area actually was about five times lighter <laughs> this morning. I'm like, okay, this doesn't look good. So um, the key, though, for self-tanners is to exfoliate. You have to exfoliate. Remove that dry, dull skin first. Um, my favorite actually is, uh, it's a product called Smooth, and it's made from espresso beans. Oh, nice. So you know how coffee stains your teeth? Sure. Yeah, it also stains your skin. Okay, so great tips again. Linda, Laura, thank you guys so much. We appreciate you don't look anything like Tanny Mom. You look very beautiful. <laughs> Laura, so keep working there. And Monica, I'm going to send it over to you. Monica, you have a beautiful glow as well. Oh, thank you, Rachel. I don't understand why I didn't do that segment. <laughs> anyway.